Hello players, welcome back. This is your boy Jay Sticks coming at you with another video. You can play this. Today is another video breaking down something that you can play, that you can definitely play. So, in this video, you going to check out this gentleman. I think he's from Nigeria. He's really good. He's playing some things. So, let's check it out. <laughs> Okay, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, chill, 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 chill. So before we go on, hit the like button and hit the subscribe and the bell to be notified every single time there's a video. Let's go on with the video. Let's take it back. I forget out what is going on. But before we do that whole right symbol thumb snare thing. Let's actually get the vibe of the music. Once you get the vibe of the music, you know how to place the notes within the beats. Because if it is a 6-8 groove and you're playing in 4-4, four, four, you won't align perfectly on it, right? And your mindset will be shifted because it's on a different time signature. So first of all, let's get the groove. Let's get the groove, what is going on. Then we can progress to the flashy stuff. I will break that down, but let's first get the groove. Okay, so from what we can tell, he's playing in six eights. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And that is way different from four, four, where you would play one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But this is in six, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. So when he's playing like. So basically, a lot of the beat is with the hi-hat pattern because the kick is just a continuous kick or maybe an interspersed kick, if you get what I mean, an interspersed kick, a lot of English words. So the hi-hat pattern is basically this. Right before the last note. So now that you've got that, because that pattern is actually very important in order to do the cymbal thing he was doing. That pattern is what he translates from the hi-hat to the cymbal. So you need to learn that pattern if you want to be able to do the cymbal snare tom thing he was doing. So basically the, the kick pattern for that whole arrangement is just the one, two, three, four, five, six. So let me slow that down a little bit so you get to understand what is going on. Home plate at full speed. So on the right cymbal, what we are doing here is the same pattern we did on the hi-hat.
right? Then your kick is in the quarter notes. So let's play the two. You have to be comfortable. Play it until you're comfortable. Because if you can't keep that one going, the left hand is going to mess you up. I ain't gonna lie, man. So, do this part until you're comfortable. Then, we can move on to the left. Okay, so now you're comfortable with your right and the kick. So we are moving on to the left. The left, you're doing a hit on the snare and you're doing a hit on the tongue. This is how it goes. So you're doing in unison, in unison. And you would want to hit the bell. This is the bell. You would want to hit the bell of the cymbal. My right cymbal is kind of messed up because, I don't know. This is what came with the drum. So, hit the like button so I can afford a new right cymbal, please. Or head on to my Patreon page. I have a new Patreon page, guys, if you'd like to support this channel so I can make more videos like this. Head on to my Patreon page. The link is in the description down below. So, you hit the bell to give it that high sound. If you hit the cymbal, It's a little bit light, so you need to hit the bell. If you're playing some jazz and you want to go... But with this, we're playing it on the bell of the right cymbal. So we have that down, now we come to the snare. So what this is, is we do the pattern on this. We've already covered the pattern there. We are going. That I think is okay, you guys can get that. So we pick up from the snare before we start the whole tone pattern. So, in some sense, it's like he's doing with the kick. But the kick is just going, but he would know how to place your hands within the divisions of the kick. So, you see the first one is... Then the second one goes, which is closer than the first one, like this. I hope you get it. So I can add the right symbol thing. Then it becomes like. That's the basic, basic of what he's playing. He's playing way more stuff, but at least we should learn the basics of what he's playing. So if we want to go deeper into it, we can go deeper, but with a foundation of understanding what exactly is going on 
then you can build on it. Try it out, check it out. Let's see if it works out. I think it would work out. I hope it helped you figure out this groove. It's a Nigerian groove. You might play it, you might not play it, but I think it's important to learn because it helps you with your dynamics. It helps you with your independence. Learning this groove to teach it actually taught me so much. It's fun to learn things like this because it builds you up in ways you don't particularly think you would use. But then later you find out that, oh, my left hand is developed or my kick is developed or my right hand is developed. And when it comes to time to do some other crazy stuff, you're able to do it easily without having to put in that much work because you already did it in the past. I hope you get the point. Yes, so you can definitely play this. I'll leave the link to the video in the description. You can check it out. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell to be notified every single time there's a video and hit the like button. Oh, and if you would like to support the channel, if you would like to support these videos, head on to my Patreon page. The link is in the description. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for everything. And this is your boy J Sticks and stick with it. Peace.